Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding page recommendations and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Facebook interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called friendship with two different columns, user ID 1, user ID 2. Okay. The combined columns user ID and 1 and 2 is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table indicates that there is a friendship relationship between user 1 ID and user 2 ID. Okay. We are also given a second table called likes with two different columns, user ID and page ID. The combined columns is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table indicates that the user ID likes page ID. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to recommend pages to the user with user ID equal to 1 using the pages that your friends liked. Okay. It should not recommend pages you already liked. Okay. The order of the result does not matter and it should not have any duplicates. Okay. Let's go through this example, right? Let's see who all are the friends of user1 id equal to 1, right? So user1 id is equal to 1. So there are users 2, 3 and 4 who are the friends and also, right, 6 is a friend of 1 or 1 is a friend of 6, right? So 2, 3, 4 and 6 are the people who are friends of user1 id is equal to 1, right? Now 2, 3, 4 and 6, what are the pages that they like? So they like 23, 24, 56 right 33 77 77 and 88 right now you need to write return the unique ones but also exclude what user id 1 already likes so 88 is liked by 6 right 6 is a friend of 1 but 1 already likes 88 right so what are the unique pages liked by 2 3 4 and 6 which is also not liked by user id 1 it is 23 24, 56, 33 and 77. So 5, right? And that is what you have in the output. Okay. So to do this, what we should do is firstly, let's find out the user IDs of the people who are friends with user ID is equal to 1, right? So how can we do this? So from this table called friendship, right? We can, you know, return so if you look at it, when your user one ID is equal to one, you can return the user two ID. So that is going to be the friend of uh, user ID one. And if your user two ID is equal to one, right, then you return the user one ID, right? So case when, right? So case when your user one ID is equal to one, then you return user to ID, right? When your user to ID is equal to one, then you return user one ID, right? And since you started a case when statement, you need to end it. And let's alias this as let's say we can call friends, right? Something like that. Okay. So it, let's store this in a common table expression. So with CTE as and this entire thing goes into parentheses, right? So, okay. So once we have the friends, right? So who all are the friends of user ID equal to one. Now from the likes table, what should we do? From the likes table, right? We should only keep those rows firstly where your you know user id belongs to the friends right because that is what it matters right because we need to take care of the pages that were liked by the friends of user id equal to one right so we write where the user id is in return friends from common table expression right so it will make sure so for example here uh, from this we will be having who all are the users two three four and six right so it, it will only keep two three four and six once right it will keep that but you also need to make sure that page id right so the page id is not in 
the list of pages that are already liked by user ID one. So if you write return page ID from the likes table where your user ID is equal to one, right? So it will exclude all those pages. And once you have this, that uh, your user ID is in the list of the friends and the page is not already liked by the user ID equal to one, then you can return distinct. Why? Because the question says to return without duplicates, right? So we say return di distinct page ID and it should be aliased as recommended recommended page. Okay. Since we don't need to order this or anything. So this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. So yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output, right? Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how I do it again. Not very difficult, but if you follow the logic, it is quite simple. All you had to do was first thing is identify the users which are friends of user ID one. Then once we have that, then from the likes table, what we did was we found out what are the pages that those friends like and return those and made sure that that pages do not contain the page that is already liked by user ID one. Right. And we made sure that they are not duplicates. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.